Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 12 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championship Tournament 2004. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com Okay, I still have a lot more duels to have here. I mean, Esper Robo, I need to take on one more time to get the five wins against him. As for the others, it looks like it's two and one, so to speak. Two, two and one? Yeah, it's two, two and one. Therefore, it'll be a while before I can get that quota cleared. That's okay, we got lots of time. I mean, I see no reason to rush this, uh, let's play too fast. I mean, this is an enjoyable one. It may not always seem that way with my commentary, but that's just me concentrating on what strategy is needed to win. It's always a mixed bag whenever you play these duels, because sometimes you can get, like, an easy opponent, and then you have, well, a very bad draw, or you can have a tough opponent and actually get an easy win. It all depends on what cards show up. Ah, uh, Monster Reborn, that's not really an issue. Oh, I thought he was going to, like, sacrifice and bring in a monster. I had my trap hole ready for that. But it looks like that's going to be a non-issue, thankfully. And I guess it didn't really matter what I put on the field. Either way, it's going to be the same result. Almost the exact same stats as well. Let's see what this is. <coughs> ah, Sangan. Not happy about that. For another Sangan. Well, that was pointless. Okay, fair enough. Have it your way. You're just depleting your resources, man. I'm not impressed. Alright, your move. I think that might have been a Sangan. I'm not sure. Doesn't really matter because either way, it's just going to be a waste of time. If you wanted to bring in a good monster, why don't you do that with the first Sangan? That way you'll still have that extra Sangan ready for your other cards. It's pointless. No, it wasn't. It was just Fire Eye. Okay, whatever. Deliver an easy hit to his life points. Beautiful. And now I'll end my turn. Let's see what you got now. Okay, that's also not the Sangin. Because it was somewhere in the middle of his hand. If I remember correctly. So why don't I flip summon Honey Honey? Bring that back to your hand. And then I'll sacrifice it to bring in Flame Cerberus. And I say the combined three attacks will do them in. Fantastic. Now it's time to do some damage. Serious damage. Alright, one more hit after this, and it's over. Okay, I say the Let's Play is coming along very nicely. This is part 12, I believe. Oh wait, I won't be done! I actually thought I would be. Oh my god, if you actually come back and win after all this, I'm gonna be super pissed. Alright, I guess we had to delay the duel a little bit longer. Oh my god, that might have actually been something. Nah, I don't think so. Magic Jammer. Get rid of Mystical Space Typhoon, because it's not going to be any benefit. If anything, it's just slowing the duel down. Um, do I really want to get crazy? Nah, there's no point. Just go with the three monsters I have now. And then wipe the floor with them. There we go. This attack, you're done. Officially. Alright, I'm very proud of that. So, let's go with Blue Eyes again. Harpy's Feather Duster? Well, that's actually a very good haul. 
I would have preferred Regeki, but being able to take out all spells and traps on their side of the field, that's also very good as well. Question is, what do I want to take out? I want to keep some balance here. Okay, you're going in. Uh, Griswold Dice? I'm not sure. Dispel? Yeah, I'm getting rid of Dispel. I've made my choice. Alright, Mako, I've only had like one duel against you. Let's have our second. Don't want to leave you bored. And Flying Fish. I think to be able to duel my after five wins, I'm supposed to have my Harpy's Feather Duster in my trunk and not in my deck. I'm not 100% sure, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. If it is, then once I get the five wins, I have to take Harpy's Feather Duster out. I believe if you actually defeat my enough times, I think it's ten? Then I'm allowed to duel her with Harpy's Feather Duster in my deck, if I remember correctly. So anyways, let me put this face down, and in my turn. I figured. Eh, ah, Laughing Flower. Nothing to worry about. I still have my monster reborn. I don't want to use Fisher though, because I mean, that's a low-level monster. It's not really worth it, in my opinion. So let me use Monster Reborn right now. Bring back my 7 colored fish. I mean, it's worth doing so if the attack bar is like 1800. That's not nothing to laugh at. Hmm, yeah, Wolf Axe Wielder it is. I think I'll use my Skalingo for later, when I know I'm in a very good position. Alright, seven color fish. Do more damage. Oh, poetic to see like a seven colored fish do some damage to Mako Tsunami, who I believe has his own seven colored fish. And a giant red sea snake as well. <laughs> oh my. I think now would be a good time to use my Fisher spell card. Monstrous Bird is also very good. But I want to bring in Gamma the Magnet Warrior instead. Then I'm going to use my Fisher Spell card to take out the Giant Red Sea Snake instantly. And now I'll attack directly with both monsters. That should be around 3,300 points of damage in total. In other words, this guy's almost down. I just need one more turn. See what you got, Mako. Umi. Okay. Well, I'm not really worried. Though I... No, my Gamma the Magnet Warrior is not a machine. I think it's a rock? Oh, yeah, it's a rock. And my Seven Color Fish is even stronger! Um, thanks! Much appreciated! Doesn't look like it benefited you in any way whatsoever. So I might as well attack with a 7-colored fish. It doesn't really matter who. Because either way, if I attack with a 7-colored fish or a um, gamma, I get the win. Like so. Alright, just cranking in more wins just the way I like it. I want to go with Black Skull Dragon this time for a change. Ah... Uh, I was kind of hoping I'd get Change of Heart, because I believe that's in that booster pack. Oh well, can't always get what you want. Alright, Bones, let's duel. I like to mix it up from time to time, rather than just go for the same duelist over and over. Ooh, Imperial Order, it's always been awesome to me. Sure, I'll summon Firecracking in attack mode. These two cards face down, and end my turn. Mm, 
Ooh, the Bistro Butcher. Um, if that does damage to me, then I get to draw two cards. But at the same time, I'm not in any dire straits when it comes to my cards. So you know what? I am going to activate my Widespread Ruin. There. Now let's see what you got. Okay, I have no idea what that trap card is. It could be a negate attack, magic cylinder, or mirror force. It was a mirror force. Okay. That was good. That's why I'm glad I didn't summon a monster. Now let's bring in a Gemini Elf. And end my turn. Tribute to the Doomed? Oh, you're gonna destroy my Gemini Elf instantly! Nope! And you still lost your Tribute from your hand. Remember, the reason why that wasn't negated was because Tribute is like a cost. You still gotta pay the cost. Whether it's negated or not. Demo of the Breaks! Okay, Gravekeeper Servant is probably the only reason I would have decided I should have brought in Magic Jammer. But what's done is done. Anyways, just go for the attack. Either way, I got two Gemini Elves. And that's just a Fairy Witch. Nothing to worry about. And because of Imperial Order, I will not lose a card off the top of my deck whenever I attack. Had it not been for that, Gravekeeper Servant would have kicked in and it would have been a total mess. Okay, I know you don't have another Mirror Force, so I'm not worried about that. Sure, I'll pay. I didn't have a spell card in my graveyard, do I? No. Ah, if only I had Trap Master. No, wait, it's not Trap Master. What was it that allowed me to bring in a trap? I forget what card it was, but I know there was one. Oh well, uh, I'll think about that as I move along. I don't know if that's a trap hole or a torrential tribute. It doesn't look like I really need to know. Because either way, I'm doing damage. Well, what was the point of that? You just decided to, like, uh, save it for one, uh, Gemini Elf and not the other? Okay, didn't really matter to you, so go right ahead. Oh, what was the point of that? You still had to pay the 800 life points. You knew that card was still on the field. Idiot. Yeah, I'll keep paying. And you have no chance. It's over for you, Bones. Alright, one more attack. You're done. There. Okay, I didn't have to sweat that duel at all, even though I lost, lost half my life points. Most of that was from my own card. But I was okay with that. Okay, I still didn't get Regeki, but at least I'm getting cards I never had before, which is adding to my collection. That's actually a very good thing, if you ask me. Eh, let's go with Bones for the last time. And then chances are I'll stop the video here. No, it's Mask of Darkness! That's the flip effect that allows me to bring back a trap. I knew it was something that I used to, like, have in my deck. It was Mask of Darkness. All right. Good to know my memory is not failing me. Ooh, blue eyes, white dragon in my hand. That could be very effective. I just gotta find the means to bring it out right away. Until then, guess I do have my widespread ruin to bail me out. Got a man eater bug. I got a cyber jar. 
This is looking pretty solid. Okay, I'm not surprised you would do that. Ugh, Gravekeeper's Servant. And a Black Pendant. Well, that didn't really do anything for you. You still don't have enough attack power to beat it. The only thing I'm worried about is losing a lot of cards. Which can happen. So if I get like a Heavy Storm or a Harpy's Feather Duster, I'm using them. Part of me thinks that maybe I shouldn't attack. But at the same time... I mean, I can't just keep delaying it forever. I'll attack once. Well, that's all I can do, really. I don't know what card I'm gonna lose. That's why I don't want to attack too much. So if I do, I'm gonna lose a lot of good cards. Mystical Elf, well, okay, that wasn't a big loss. Alright, your move. Okay, I still gotta find a way to get rid of that. Ah, oh, here we go. Happy days are here again! And thank God you did not have a magic jammer. That would have rotted me. Ooh, what was that? Magician of Faith, okay. Got rid of that without getting to flip it. Perfect. I'm a bit leery. So, you know what? I'm gonna set this rather than summon. Aha! Called it. Alright, even if you bring in a summon skull, I got widespread ruin. Which, of course, you don't bring out, and now you got no traps either. Again, I want to save that for an emergency. I don't know if I want to use Cyber Jar's flip effect. I mean, as long as I got a good monster, I'm in very good shape. If I was not in good shape, I would have considered it. So with that in mind, I'm not going to bring in my Cyber Jar this turn. Not at this time. Besides, if I use Cyber Jar, that could be giving Bones a chance, because his hand is empty! Mine is quite full. I have more options, and he doesn't. That's the thing. Okay, I just gotta keep whittling him down. I am very concerned of what spells or traps he can still draw. Ah, he's got nothing! Okay, then. Getting another monster makes it easier for me. Now I can actually do something in terms of life point damage. Not Boneheimer. Or Hemer. Eh, I think it's Hymer. I could be wrong, though. I've been wrong many times before, and I've been right many times before. It's all a mixed bag. Okay, it doesn't really matter for you, man. I got this. You may not admit it, but I do. All you're doing is just stalling. You're delaying the inevitable. Doesn't really matter to me. Piling in wins and hoping to get the cards that I want to make me even stronger. But I do admire your uh, resolve in trying to win. Alright, I'll activate this right now. Ooh, Barrel Dragon. Sure, why not? 
Fire Kraken and Skelangle. Let's try to activate that effect without even needing to attack. Nope, didn't work. Okay, it doesn't matter who I attack with. Either way, I'm going to do enough damage. Eh, whatever. Doesn't matter. And now I finish you off. Good. Alright, I win again! Man, I am... Mashing up a good record. Rikeki, Rikeki, Rikeki. Nope, my rare card was yummy. Oh, I tried. Okay, I'm going to stop the video here. And in the next part, I'm going to have even more duels. See ya, everybody.